Hello and welcome to the next video in the TTM for JIRA series. In this video, we will look at the steps to import test cases using an Excel template. By the end of this video, you will be able to understand the use case of the import test case feature in the TTM for JIRA tool. You will also be able to identify the steps involved in importing test cases using an Excel template. Firstly, let's understand the scenarios in which import test case features can be utilized. When migrating test cases from test management tools like X-Ray or Zephyr, users can seamlessly transfer them into TTM for JIRA without the need for Excel files. However, for those without X-Ray or Zephyr, utilizing Excel files becomes a convenient option to import test cases into the TTM for JIRA tool. Additionally, if your test cases are stored in a local folder, you can employ this feature to import them into the TTM for JIRA tool using an Excel template. Now let's examine the steps to import test cases using an Excel template. In the Test Design tab, click on the Import Test Cases from Excel File icon and download the template by clicking on the Microsoft Excel Template File button. Upon opening the downloaded Excel file, you'll find the default template generated. This Excel template will serve as the foundation for inputting the required details. Now let's explore an already filled Excel file to visualize its structure. In the summary column of the Excel file, there are 10 test cases ready for import. For the reporter and assignee columns, you can specify either the email ID or the username. The EPIC key column allows you to link a test case to an EPIC on the JIRA instance. In this case, the key used is TTM-187. The fixed versions column is a custom field in the JIRA project. In the requirement keys column, you can simply input the requirement key already present on the JIRA instance. This enables the automatic linking of the test cases to the specified requirement key. To organize all the test cases into a folder, utilize the Folder column to specify the desired name. In this instance, we will arrange the test cases in the Payment folder. It's worth noting that if the Test Case folder does not already exist, the TTM for JIRA tool will automatically generate a new folder. Note, to add a test case within a subfolder, simply mention it in the Excel template using the following format, name of the folder, backslash name of the subfolder. For example, payment backslash credit card. One of the remarkable features of the TTM for JIRA tool is the capability to import tests and pre-fill custom values using TTM for JIRA's Excel template. To do so, simply add a new column, naming it in the following order. An asterisk, followed by the custom field's name. In this instance, a new column has been added for a custom field named payment method. Save the file once all columns are filled and updated. Now to import the Excel template, return to the TTM for JIRA tool. Click on Already Got the Template and upload the Excel file. If you wish to maintain the order of test cases as per the Excel file, check the box that says Arrange test cases according to the order in the Excel file. Confirm these steps by clicking the Import button. Upon successful import, a confirmation message will appear, stating that test cases were imported successfully. Proceed by clicking Done. Here you must note that the test design page will not load automatically, and therefore you need to click on Reload to refresh the page. Upon doing so, you can observe the successful creation of the new payment folder with 10 test cases. Clicking on the Payment folder, you will see that all the details filled in the Excel sheet are accurately reflected in this view. To display your custom field values on the Test Design screen, click on the Adjust Table Columns icon. Every custom field that is added to your project will appear on this list. In this instance, we've chosen Payment Method, and you will see that a new column labeled Payment Method is now added to the Test Design screen. Now switching to the Requirements tab and clicking on Requirement TTM-188, you will observe that all the test cases are linked to this specific requirement. 
This brings us to the end of this video, and by now you should be able to understand the use case of the import test case feature in the TTM for JIRA tool, and identify the steps involved in importing test cases using an Excel template.